This video we're going to talk about structural and molecular formulas and specifically we're going to learn how to draw the structural formula and write the molecular formula for a covalent compound. Uh, the structural formula is going to show what the molecule is actually going to look like and you can see that here in blue. And then the molecular formula there in red is going to show the identity of the elements. So we have carbon and fluorine and then how many of each one there are. So in this case we have one carbon and four fluorine atoms. Let's take a look at the example here with carbon and hydrogen. I'm going to show you four steps, and if you follow these four steps, you'll be able to take any two elements and draw the structural formula for those two elements and then write the molecular formula. The first step here is to actually draw a Lewis structure for each element. And so here's my Lewis structures for carbon and hydrogen. Carbon has four valence electrons. Hydrogen only has one valence electron. Okay, the second step here is to pair up the unpaired electrons, and we can add more elements if we need to do so. So if I take a look at my two Lewis structures here, I could see that they all have unpaired electrons. Electrons always want to be in a pair, whether it's in a bonded pair or in a lone pair. And you can also notice that I was strategic in where I put the electrons around carbon. We want our drawings, our Lewis structures, to look symmetrical, so that's why I put electrons all around the sides. And so the first thing I can do is actually pair up the two electrons here of carbon and hydrogen, and we can form a bond with those uh, two electrons. Now remember that in covalent bonds, the electrons are going to be shared, and so hydrogen is going to see these two electrons as being its own electrons. And hydrogen wants to have two valence electrons um, to have a complete shell, valent shell. Everything else on the periodic table basically wants to have eight valence electrons, and so carbon now has its original four plus this extra one, so it's at five so far. So we can actually add more elements to satisfy the octet rule for carbon. So let's go ahead and add three more hydrogens. And then if we pair up each one of uh, these sets of electrons here, we can see that each of the hydrogens is satisfied with two electrons, and then the carbon is going to see all of the electrons it used to have, plus all of the electrons being shared as hydrogen as its own, and so carbon is going to have eight valence electrons. Okay, so now that we've paired up the unpaired electrons, we can move here to step three, which is to draw the structural formula, to redraw this. Uh, a little bit cleaner here. So wherever we have these electrons circled, we're now going to represent them as just a single line. And whenever we see a line like that connecting two letters in chemistry, that's a bond and there's two electrons in there. So let's redraw this here. So we have carbon that's bonded to these four hydrogens. And so that is the structural formula for this compound. Our final step here is that we can count up the number of each type of element and then we can actually write the molecular formula. And so if I look here, I have one carbon atom and I have four hydrogen atoms. So I can write the one carbon atom and then I can indicate that there's four hydrogens by putting a little subscript four like that. So let's just try one more example here. So here's phosphorus and fluorine and let's start with step one, draw a Lewis structure for each element here. Phosphorus has five valence electrons and then fluorine is gonna have seven valence electrons. And our second step is to pair up any of the unpaired electrons. So we can see that right here, these electrons will pair up. And fluorine has a complete octet, but phosphorus only has six electrons. It has its original five plus the extra one here. So let's add some more fluorine atoms here. And we'll get another pair here. And one more fluorine atom. And now we have all of these things paired up. That's our second step. So now we're done that. We can redraw uh, this as a structural formula. Anywhere we have circuit electrons, we're just going to show that they are in a bond. And then I do want to include this lone pair of electrons right here on the phosphorus as well. So electrons will either be in a lone pair like this, or they'll be in a bonded pair represented by a line. Okay, last thing I need is the molecular formula. So I can count up each of the elements here. I have one phosphorus, and then I have three fluorines. I can indicate that just like this. And so here is the structural formula, and then down here is the molecular formula. And that's how to draw the structural formula and write the molecular formula for a covalent compound.